the traditional villages of Kochu people as Bohuong village in Tejiang. Build the Go house or communal house in the center of the houses of villages. Are located around. Like many other ethnic groups, when building a house, Kochu people make many rights to choose a piece of best land. Despite having to choose the direction of land from the communal house, Kachu people never located the doors at the direction of east and the west. When building the new house, if having the thunder sound, they have to dismantle the entire the house and reconstruct another day. The main pillar tanam is always built before. This pillar is high or low depending on the ability of the home owner to make large or small house. Then the roof beams, columns are assembled under the help of the men in the village, the house is gradually formed. According to the Kochu customary law, hunting trophies have to be divided among the people in the village, so the community also joins hands to help each other. In the private work, as the frame is completed, the host will hold up. The offerings at the center of the floor with offerings including chicken, eggs and dried fishes to aspire the lucky and happiness while building the house. And after moving to the new house, depending on the religions, the traditional houses of Kochu people have many types. This is a long house of Kochu people built in 1978 in Achu village. Tejiang district, Kwangnang province. This house consists of 12 compartments and is the residence of 150 Kochu people. This house includes a large family and small families separated by the kitchen fire. However, the typical house is in Kochu villages, a Muong house having the shape of oval with many variations. They are made of wood, rattan, bamboo and leaves. This is a house with lots of pillars and tortoise shaped leaf roof. The leaf roof of this house is a miniature type of the communal. House's leaf roof that according to the legend, is made based on the shape of a phoenix. The front is blang a loop door, the main door where guests can enter. The door at the rear is called blang blang. Kochu people lull their children to sleep by a lullaby. Our house has eight big compartments. The house's pillars are big. The house is clean and tidy to welcome distinguished visitors. The house has many precious gongs, big pots and cattle. The villagers will be more impressed if the house is decorated by the head of beasts and feathers. Those are not simple memorable achievements, but also the evidence for the honor of the owner. In addition to the weapons and hunting achievements, we see the small bamboo tube called Bonoi in the house of Kochu people. After hunting trips does not success. The home owners have must sacrifice the chickens and pigs before the old hunting head. Of old animals then make the Bonoi tubes, they can continue to go hunting. The life in the high mountains and deep forests forced Kochu people to have the faith in the supernatural gods in order to survive. Kochu people utilize all things of nature for to serve the demands of their life. With the mastery netting skills, Kochu people distinguish 16 types of bamboo. 
and 15 types of mud hand to make the perfect product. The weaving techniques and design with the high level shows clearly through the roof of Coach US House. The roof of Coach US House sloping 60 degree along with the roof arm the two sides and tight beams form an equilateral triangle. So its roof is solid. Under the houses of Kochu people in Taijiang, there still remain the old life, a patriarchal society, but women also have a particular position in the agricultural rights. In the early 20th century, in the first book writing about Kochu people, La Pichon said when giving birth a daughter, Kochu people is also very excited. Also in this book, Le Pichon wrote that after a long journey, we stopped at the hospitable houses. The home owner and his family warmly greeted. Under the patriarchy domination, Kochu people attach great importance to the family relations. Kochu people here said that though they have no the writing to record pedigrees, but everyone remembers clearly their relatives. According to the Kochu customary law, if a person is sentenced to death, the members of that family have to implement this judgment. The extreme of the life circumstances, living traditions and religions here never lose the beauty of life in Kochu villages. No such legendary as the Parok village in the past. PO9 village has still many interesting things that we have not explored yet. Every time coming to the traditional houses here, we get to share about the mysterious identity of Kochu people. This is a holy bird that its shape carved and painted on the roof of communal house and the village gates of Kochu people. This bird is known as Pelican, the holy bird representing for the faithfulness and prosperity but Kochu people still hunt for decorations. Le Pichon with the Western rationalist opinion commented Kochu people are hospitable, chivalrous and funny but contempt for human life. This is a glorious picture. In the mountains and forests of Quang Nain, Kochu people want to live their whole life on the land where their ancestors lived. 